Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. I'm absolutely thrilled to have you here today because we're diving into some incredibly exciting news that's not just inspiring, but also transformative for an entire nation. If you're passionate about agriculture, innovation, or stories of progress, you're in for a treat. Today we're talking about how Burkina Faso is revolutionizing its rice production industry, and trust me, this is a game changer. So, grab a cup of coffee, sit back, and let's get into it. First off, let's set the stage. Burkina Faso, a landlocked country in West Africa, has long been known for its agricultural heritage. Rice, in particular, is a staple food for millions of people across the region. However, like many countries, Burkina Faso has faced challenges in its rice production, particularly when it comes to impurities that affect the quality of the final product. These impurities not only reduce the market value of the rice, but also make it less competitive on both national and international stages. But guess what? That's all about to change, thanks to an innovative initiative led by the government. The government of Burkina Faso, under the leadership of Captain Ibrahim Traoré, has taken a bold and visionary step to address this recurring issue. They've introduced state-of-the-art optical sorters, yes, the kind of high-tech machines used in major international rice mills, to local rice processors. This isn't just a small upgrade, it's a complete transformation of the agricultural landscape. These machines, equipped with 64 megapixel sensors, are capable of detecting and removing even the tiniest impurities from the rice grains. But that's not all. They also come with a calibration function, ensuring that the final product is of exceptional quality. Imagine that. Rice that not only meets, but exceeds international standards right from the heart of West Africa. Now let's talk numbers because this is where it gets even more impressive. These optical sorters have a processing capacity ranging from 1 to 6 tons of rice per hour, depending on the model. That's a massive leap forward for Burkina Faso's rice industry. To put it into perspective, this means that local rice processors can now produce cleaner, higher quality rice at a much faster rate, making them more competitive in the market. And here's the kicker. The government has provided around 20 of these machines to local processors, free of charge. That's right, free of charge. This is a clear demonstration of the government's commitment to supporting local agriculture and ensuring food security for its people. But wait, there's more. To ensure that these machines are used to their full potential, the government is also organizing training sessions for rice mill operators. This is such a crucial step because it's not just about having the right tools. It's about knowing how to use them effectively. By empowering operators with the knowledge and skills they need, the government is ensuring that every step of the rice production process is optimized. This, in turn, will lead to higher quality rice that can compete with the best in the world. Now let's take a moment to appreciate the broader vision behind this initiative. Captain Ibrahim Traoré, the head of state, has made it clear that his goal is to strengthen Burkina Faso's food sovereignty. What does that mean? It means reducing the country's reliance on imported rice and instead focusing on producing high-quality rice locally. This not only boosts the economy but also ensures that the people of Burkina Faso have access to safe, nutritious, and affordable food. It's a win-win situation, and it's all thanks to the combination of technological advancements and strong political will. Speaking of technology, let's take a closer look at these optical sorters. These machines are truly a marvel of modern engineering. With their 64-megapixel sensors, they can detect impurities that are invisible to the naked eye. This level of precision ensures that the rice is not only clean, but also uniform in size and shape, which is a key factor in determining its market value. Additionally, the calibration function allows for consistent quality batch after batch. This is a huge deal because it means that Burkina Bay rice can now meet the strictest international standards, opening up new opportunities for export. But let's not forget the human element in all of this. This initiative isn't just about machines and technology, it's about people. It's about the farmers who work tirelessly to grow the rice, the processors who transform it into a marketable product, and the consumers who rely on it as a staple food. 
By improving the quality of local rice, this initiative is creating new opportunities for everyone involved in the value chain. Farmers can earn more for their crops, processors can increase their profits, and consumers can enjoy better quality rice. It's a ripple effect that has the potential to transform the entire agricultural sector in Burkina Faso. Now, I want to take a moment to thank all of you, my amazing subscribers and members. Your support means the world to me, and it's because of you that I'm able to bring stories like this to light. Whether you've been here since the beginning or you're new to the channel, I'm so grateful to have you as part of this community. Stories like this one remind us of the power of innovation and the impact it can have on people's lives, and it's because of your support that I'm able to share these stories with the world. So, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Let's also take a moment to reflect on the bigger picture. This initiative is more than just a step forward for Burkina Faso's rice industry. It's a testament to what can be achieved when governments, communities, and technology come together. It's a reminder that even the biggest challenges can be overcome with the right approach and a commitment to progress. And it's a story of hope, a hope that other countries facing similar challenges can look to Burkina Faso as an example of what's possible. As we wrap up, I want to leave you with this thought. Innovation isn't just about creating new technologies. It's about using those technologies to make a real difference in people's lives. And that's exactly what's happening in Burkina Faso. By investing in cutting-edge equipment and empowering local communities, the government is paving the way for a brighter, more sustainable future. It's a story that deserves to be celebrated, and I'm so glad I could share it with you today. Before I go, don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and share it with your friends and family. Let's spread the word about this incredible initiative and the positive impact it's having. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you never miss an update. Your support is what keeps this channel going, and I'm so grateful for each and every one of you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care and stay curious. Bye for now.